some time ago, I made a video about a, using your mobile phone, some pre-sliced models from printables, download them and send them directly to Prusa Connect in order to print it on my Mark 3S, you know, the poor man Prusa. But now Prusa came with an online slicer, making it your life a whole lot easier. How cool is that? It's basically for your mobile and your tablet. But Prusa is not going to stop you using it online on your desktop or laptop as well. So let's dive right in Easy Print from Prusa, right here on Zachary 3D Prints. Hey, Zach here, and welcome to this video. Everybody knows Prusa Slicer being a very easy and user-friendly slicer that you can download on your desktop or laptop and use it for normal slicing of your SDL files for your 3D printer. But now with Easy Print by Prusa, it's going to be a step forward in, you know, doing everything within the cloud or online. And basically you can use your mobile phone you can use your, your tablet, your iPad, slice the model and send it directly to your online 3D printers. They need to be connected through uh, Wi-Fi or through Ethernet cable. Don't start about that uh, at this moment because I had some issues this last week. I had to reinstall my whole desktop PC, not because of, you know, easy print and print or Prusa slicer, but I had some serious network issues, but my Poor man Prusa is connected with Prusa Connect. That are the basic things at this moment that, that are a requirement in order to work with this. So let's dive right in and let's show you all about Easy Print from Prusa. And so here we are. At this moment of recording, it's still invite, but I can imagine if you are watching this video a few weeks later and it is public, you can use this slicer as well. It's an online slicer, already starts with a normal Mark III. So here we have projects, you can uh, delete this one, you can uh, start a new project. Here we click on add model and you can basically add models that are here or you can upload a model. We have here also the Benji, it, it is already there, open, loading model, already where we started. So that's basically how it works. You go here. So this this was already the one that was already on on the build plate. This is this is what I have added now. We can also go a few steps back. So this is how it looks like. Remove object from the this bed because usually when you right mouse click on it in a normal slicer, you get some options, but now they already have them here. You can add a model and you can arrange objects on this bed meaning if you have multiple models on your build plate you can arrange them as you would normally do in prusa slicer so if you click here on the 3d printer we have now currently an i3 mark 3s it stands here offline but at an offline prusa printer uh i've got the uh mark 3 and then you have here multiples uh i've got the mark 3s my poor man prusa is a mark 3s built select material select a material we are going to print it with pla we uh, have here different kind of filament uh, brands also which versions that are being supported now i have a spool of white pla filament so uh let's uh, let's go for a normal generic one generic PLA color we can say like okay it is going to be a white one because it isn't white one here we have some print settings detailed balanced or fast we are going for fast you can um, add supports it's going to be uh, it's standard enabled just a snug uh, but you can also go for other ones as well so very cool and very handy if you go one step back the infill you can change the infill as well and the grid you can just like also for the supports, you can uh, choose different ones. We are going for gyroid, 15%. We change to 10% because it doesn't have to be that much. Then we have here some preview. Well, since we have selected supports, you will see that this Benji is going to be printed with supports. Well, we are not going to print a Benji with supports because why would we? It's designed that you don't need that. Uh, so we are going to change the print settings. We are going to disable the supports. We are going back into the preview. Yeah, ignore and then G code. This is going to be the G code. You can download it and then send it to your printer or put it on an SD card. So like you would normally do on your Prusa slicer or any kind of slicer that you normally would use for your Prusa 3D printers. You can also send it and that would be 
a few moments later. So if you want to send this file over to your Prusa 3D printer, make sure to go to your Prusa Connect and make sure that you are logged in or else it won't work. You saw earlier that the printer that I had, the Mark 3S was offline. So when going into Prusa Connect, log in with your Prusa account, then you will see uh, that the printer is idle. So now we are going to click on the Mark 3S, this one, and we can send it directly to our 3D printer. And as mentioned, every single 3D printer that is connected through Prusa Connect can be used in this case. So if you're on your mobile phone or on your laptop, so if you are on your mobile phone or on your iPad or tablet, you can use this kind of method in order to slice a model and send it directly over Prusa Connect to your Prusa 3D printer. Now we are going to click on print and let's print this Benji. Ready for printing? Always check that your printer is clean and free from any objects and then starting to print, yes. So if you are going to Prusa Connect uh, site, you can exactly see how far the current trans, uh, transfer or the status is. Now at this moment, it's still sending the file over. Uh, no, file transfer to Prusa Connect completed successfully. The printer is not yet ready to use to receive this. Let's uh, slice another model. We click, oh, we can click on it. We can delete it. We are going to click on add model. We are going to add something pretty cool. I think some people might like it, some people don't. So this is uh, the more serious work. What are more the possibilities? Because the bench is pretty simple and easy to do. So this is a more challenging job and I'm not going to print it this big because I don't have that much filament. Let's select both models and see what else we can do we can move we can rotate so what you normally would do in most of the slicers you can also scale it let's uh instead of 100 let's uh let's go half of that 50 a mini joe how cool is that we can also clone and of course you did see me use it before removing the benji from the build plate now it's the size that i want let's uh let's enable supports we are going to go for we are also going to go no we are going for balanced gyroid we keep the same because every single time when you are going to start a new project these kind of settings you need to add to it let's check if the printer is still that one so that's good pla and uh, we are going to look for the preview just a little reminder there are some online slicers where slicing online takes some time you can pay for it to go faster with a subscription or paying coins so we have this kind of support i don't like this type of support let's uh let's go here change the support for on the build plate only and uh let's do the slicing again so this looks already a whole lot better and we send it to print you have to remove the previous finished model and cleaning the print bed it's not ready but send it to the printer queue and we can click on close so if we are now going to this one you see that there is already happening something on the background. In the meantime, the Benji is being printed. So yeah, it's going to be amazing. So it's going to be a three hour and 31 minute print. If this model is being printed and done, you will see it on my uh, Twitter account or on X. Zachary 3D Prints. I mean, this is pretty cool. You can now use online software to send to your 3D printer and then, you know, sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Most of us, we are used to normal desktop, PC, laptop-based slicers. You can put it on your SD card, walk to your 3D printer, insert the SD card or USB thumb drive, and, you know, start the print. But in this way, you can send it to your printer internally. And so this is another way to send files to your Prusa 3D printers. I'm not really sure if more printers are going to be added to this easy print from Prusa, but future will tell. If you made it this far in this video, you are amazing. Thank you for being here. If you're not subscribed, 
please subscribe to this channel and also a great thanks for these amazing supporters of the channel they are paying a monthly amount of money for supporting this channel you can also be part of it or on patreon or on the youtube channel members so great thanks for these amazing supporters you rock